required to Bismillah and Tashim and Kuf. As Muslims, we are required to believe that Allah Almighty has created angels. Allah has created angels. Allah has created angels. In Arabic, one angel is called Malakun. Three or more called Malaikatun. And belief in the angel, no doubt, in the angels is a part of Iman. It is a part of Iman. Achha. Very quickly. So, so, if anyone does not believe in the angels, that person would be considered a kafir. That person would be a kafir. Some of the key attributes of the angels. So, in light of Quran and Sunnah, we are able to identify some of the key features of the angels. Allah Almighty has created the angels out of light. All of the angels have been created from nur, light. light. Huh? They have been created to be obedient to Allah. Say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. The angels do not eat and drink. The angels are not male or female. And this refutes the false belief of the pagans of Makkah who claim that angels were female and the daughters of Allah. Ma'adallah. The angels can also change into different forms. Huh? Like for example, Jibreel alayhi salam once appeared to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam as a man. Huh? The famous narration known as hadith Jibreel. Huh? So write this down. When Jibreel alayhi salam would come in the form of a man, huh? he would come in the form of which sahabi? Does anyone know? Aisa, to sabri umidiya. Koni, chalo. Dihya kalbi. Write it down. Dihya kalbi. Dihya. D A H Y A. Dihya kalbi. I mentioned this once in a class in Bedford. And one of my uh, students and uh, very close friend I did in Nikah as well. He named his son Dihya as well. Tam pura ya. Dihya kalbi. Or yes, sir. Hadishi ka fasla ni. Ye Quran which we have. Me and Haji Muhammad Shakil Sa were talking about this earlier on. Huh? When Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam came to Sayyidina Maryam. Surah Maryam me hai na? Huh? Where Allah Tabarak Ta'ala says what? Surah number 19, write it down. Hawala pesh kanya. Surah number 19, verse number 17. Verse number? 17. Fattakhazat min dunihim hijaban farsalna. إِلَيْحَا رُوحَنَا فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيَّا آخر سبحان الله سبحان الله آيت القرآن and when Jibreel and Islam came to say the Maryam and she was 13 years old he came in the form of a well proportioned man now we've just said that the angels are created from light so what does this mean what's Imam Sab saying write it down that the changing of appearance does not affect the originality. Pura noor or bashar ka jagra khatta hoi gya. Je e dilil samjho. The changing of appearance does not affect the originality. Uh, that Jibreel in Asal is made from light. light. Though here Quran says he appeared as a human. human. So him appearing as a human, does that affect his originality? No. no, he's still made from light. So if we're willing to accept this for Jibreel and Islam, then why shouldn't we also accept it for the Prophet And the Prophet Islam, Islam, no doubt, his nuraniyat is haq, and his bashariyat is also haq. And the Prophet Islam was made as nur first. His light was made first. And then that light passed from pure loin to pure loin. Until eventually that light came in the form of a bashar into the dunya on Monday the health of Rabi al Awwal uh, into the house of Bibi Amina Rabi Allah. This is how Akida should be. Sir Quran Panna ni Quran ki samjna bhi hai na. The samaj us vakati ho si. Ya ku hud na samjne. Allah ko feek ni dere. Fir aao kuch na kuch sikho. Asa samjha samjhe. The videos to Baba Jood na samjhne. But then Allah has to. <laughs> Bara. Only Allah Almighty knows the exact number of the angels. But in order to give us an idea of their vast number, Nabi Islam informed us 
And the 70,000 angels make to offer on Baytul Ma'mur every single day, never to have that opportunity again. Where is Baytul Ma'mur? In which heaven? Seventh heaven. Huh? The Kaaba of the angels directly above the Kaaba of the humans. Yes? The Kaaba of the angels known as Baytul Ma'mur. So they Baqaida, 70,000 of them, make the wafer on Baytul Ma'mur, and they never have this opportunity again. Say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So then just for a moment, think how many angels there are. Huh? If you just look at the calculation for one year, 365 days in a year, how many angels go every day? 70,000. Huh? They get 25 million? 25.55000. Any 25.5 25.5 million angels every year do tawaf around Baytul Ma'mur. Never to have that opportunity again. Unimaginable. Hmm? Yani the number of angels. Acha fair duty of the four main angels. Who are the four main angels? It hai me kitabich koriji yani galti kitiya. Maybe in Sanya. Israel, I wrote as Isra or Isra feel. Can you see that? Third name in? Huh? It's supposed to be uh, without the F. F katiyoro. The number three, we number three called F Katiro. Uh, in Bambri, I blended it as there was a silent F. Oh, Sadi Jimanige. Maral. Jibreel alayhi salam. Jibreel or Jibrail, both pronunciations are correct. Mikail alayhi salam. Israfil uh, or Israel and Israfil alayhi salam. So here we know that Jibreel alayhi salam, his duty was what? To bring the revelation to the messengers. Does anyone know how many times Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam? Jibreel alayhi salam ta'ana jana. Sare sunni baithe ya. Leki pata lagna sukhe sunni. Saadhe sunni. Ji. Okay, yeah. Okay, you spend years with me, aren't you? Huh? Write it down. Jibreel came to the Prophet came to the Prophet 24,000 times. Say Jibreel came to the Prophet Jibreel came to the Prophet Ibn Adil mentioned this in the Tafsir. Al-Alama Yusuf in Ismail al-Abhani to knuckle of this in the Al-Anwar Muhammadiyah min al-Mawahib in the Dunya. Huh? Jibreel alayhi salam ka'ana jana. Chowbis hazaar martaba. Yeh yeh na? 24,000. Chowbis hazaar martaba. Acha, you might say his job was to bring the revelation. So again, my calculators are 24,000. Take away how many verses in the Quran? 6,213. Six we said, right? So that leaves 17,764. So if the argument is what? That Jibreel only came to give the revelation. Then why did he come an additional 17,764 times? And Imam Ahmad al-Dabbar rahimahullah in that al ibri Sharif mentioned that the reason why he came who a khadimu Rasulullah that he came to serve the Prophet Bas. Yeh Jibreel al-Islam ka maqsad si na. That he came to serve the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or aashik ka jawaab kya hai? That he came to do the didar of the wadu ha chera of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is that very same Jibreel al-Islam. That he would not enter into the house of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Without first seeking permission. Uwe galla. Jitha Jibreel al-Islam ka nuzul hai. Aadu tha bagayrat yo be hayayi bhi bhi hai. Samjo, Samjo, Bara. Time both for our Ikor is thick enough knowledge, pearl of knowledge we give you. Write it down. Jibreel Islam travel faster than the speed of light on four occasions. How many occasions? Boro Boro. How many occasions? Four occasions. Faster than the speed of light. And what's the speed of light? I've written it here somewhere. The speed of light uh, is Bakaida. 
700 million miles an hour. Obviously, it was a Google thing. 700 million miles an hour. But Jibreel alayhi salam on four occasions traveled faster than this. Alama Ismail Haki rahmatullah alayhi uh, mentioned this in the tafsir. Uh, number one, very quickly write it down. And you know these things anyway. Number one, when Ibrahim al Islam was thrown into the fire. Yeah? Jibreel al Islam traveled faster than the speed of light. Number one, when Ibrahim al Islam was thrown into the fire. Not hell fire, just normal fire. Fire. Ah. Number two, when Ismail al Islam was about to be Slaughter. sacrificed. Knife was on the Neck. 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 Jibreel came faster than the speed of light. Right, yeah. Swapped if Ismail and Islam with a male sheep, a ram from Jannah. And number three, when Yusuf and Islam was thrown into the well by his brothers. brothers. Yeah. Huh? Before he touched the bottom of the well, Jibreel and Islam came and placed his wing under Yusuf and Islam. Jalali Sahur and Nasi, yeah? May I hear you stretch your leg? You leg? And number four is what? Number one, Ibrahim Islam was thrown in the fire. Number two, Ismail Islam before he was sacrificed. Number three, and number four was on the day of the battle of Uhud, 14th of Shabbal. Before one drop of blood of the Prophet Islam touched the ground, Jibreel came faster than the speed of that. Alama Qurtubi again right and had that one drop of blood of the Prophet Sallallahu hit the ground, everything green on the earth would have ceased to exist. Khatam, game over. So this is Jibrail al -Islam. Then you got Mikail number two here, middle of page 23. Mikail is responsible for the natural events, uh, the rain and the clouds and moving them wherever Allah Almighty commands, whenever He commands. He's also in charge of the risk, the sustenance. Israel, Al Islam number three, Malakul Maut, the Grim Reaper. He is responsible uh, for ending our life and taking the souls at the time of death. Number four, Israfil Al Islam, whose lips are locked upon the tip of the trumpet, whose eyes are parallel and head is parallel to Allah al Mahfuz, waiting for the command. He will blow the trumpet uh, to end the world. And then 40 years later, he'll blow the trumpet again to start the day of judgment. So these are the four main angels. Jibreel al-Islam, Mikail al-Islam, Israel al-Islam, Israfil alayhi salam. And then you have to finish off this section on the angels, duty of other angels. You have Kiraman, Katibin. Asrun ka naam kya hai? That the one on the right shoulder is called Raqib. He is called? Raqib. He is called? Raqib. And the one on the left is called Atid. He is called? Atid. Atid. And the one who writes there? Good deeds, i.e. Raqib, has more authority than the one who writes the Sweet. bad deeds. Yes. Then you have Munkaran. Call me Asaya, so we go Munkir and Nakir. Munkar and Nakir. Two angels in the grave, you know, who will ask the three questions. One other time, somebody dies here in Telford, somebody dies in Bradford, somebody dies in Edinburgh, somebody dies in. Uh, Italy, somebody dies in France, somebody dies in Islamabad, somebody dies in uh, Tokyo, different time zone, but at the same time, 12 o'clock midday. Uh, Malakul Maut is in more than one place at one time. Is it Kushak here? No. Tadfeen uh, is done, let's say, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, whatever. Munkar Rakir and Mori want more than one place at one time. And you're willing to accept that angels can be in more than one place at one time. But when it comes to the prophets who let Pete, what we done? Eh, lal khatam. Huh? And if Allah Almighty has given this power to the angels, then no doubt he's also given this power to the prophets. prophets. For indeed the prophets are greater in rank than the angels. Who prostrated to Adam al Islam? Angels. Sajda i ta'zim. Gal mi cho hoda na? So, eh, loka ni padre kui istik na zen bani ge. Some angels are entrusted 
with enforcing the wrath of Allah Almighty over sinful uh, people, others, uh, yani, uh, those who angels formulate the physical features of babies in the womb of the mother. Then you have those who protect the chosen servants of Allah. Then you have those uh, angels who are entrusted with guarding paradise. The lead angel of Jannah is called what? Anyone. The leader of the angels in Jannah is called what? Starts with R. Very good. Ridwan. Or Apnees of Rizwan, yes? Ridwan in Arabic. And then you have the gatekeeper of Jahannam. What's his name? Starts with an M. Malik, well done. Write it down, write it down. Those of you who are just looking at me. Ridwan and Malik. And this was one of the questions, right? And test yourselves. Question number four. What is the name of the gatekeeper of the hellfire? So we just told you now. Malik. And there are other angels as well. No doubt you have to read this in your own time. Like in last bullet point, page 25. Last bullet point, page 25. The angels have different duties, ranks and forms. But all of them have the duty to send the rood and salawat upon Rasulullah. <laughs> Two articles of faith done. Alhamdulillah. Say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Very quickly. Third article of faith. Belief in the divine scriptures. Huh? But the exact number of the divine scriptures is only known by Allah. But through the Quran and Hadith, we are able to establish, write it down, that there are 104 scriptures. How many? Exo, Char. The Char, Jena Char. Char, which is very barkat hai. Char Yar, Char Kutub, Char Malaika, and Sardar Malaika. So here four as well. These are known as Kutub. They are known as? Kutub. They are known as a singular is kitab, plural is kutub. Four main books, you know what they are. Huh? Refreshing your knowledge though. Torah given to Musa alayhi salam. Zabur given to Dawood alayhi salam. Huh? Injil given to Isa alayhi salam. Quran given to Najpa Nabi Karim Rasul sallallahu alayhi salam. Here we get char kutub. That means how many then? 104 take away four leaves. 100, and they are known as 100 Sahifas. Those 100 are known as Suhuf, Sahifas, which means they are pages, scrolls. 10 pages given to Adam al Islam, 50 given to Sheet al Islam, 30 given to Idris al Islam, and 10 given to Ibrahim al Islam. Yes? So, in total, how many scriptures are there? 100 and be honest, how many of you knew this? Ahmed knew it, mashallah. Hussain knew it as well. Then, Jerry, when Nasi get on the clue, he bade his wall put chair. Molly bet her, she put her good prana, she put her in the two. What was so important? Card jack with Sylvie Standers, he took Nesson. Small cannon, I play. Give them a medal. I said, the protection of the divine scriptures. No doubt, the previous scriptures underwent change, were altered. But the Quran is. Unaltered. The Quran is, and the two reasons for this is that Allah Almighty Himself takes responsibility uh, for the protection and the preservation of the Quran. Like He says here in Surah number 15, verse number 9, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That we reveal the remembrance, i.e., the Quran, and verily we are its protectors. And further to this, Allah Almighty made it easy for the Muslims to memorize the Qur'an. And then we have the last discussion here, gathering of the Qur'an. The Qur'an was gathered over three stages. How many stages? Three stages. Three stages. Bola, bola. How many stages? Three stages. Uh, first stage, 
was during the lifetime of the Prophet Page 28, guys. Page 28. By the time Nabi Islam left this dunya, the Quran was not in one book form. The Quran was not in one formal document. It was not as one book. Quran was written on leaves and bones and parchments and different materials. The Quran came into one book form during the Dore Khilafat of Sayyiduna Abu Bakr as Siddiq. After the battle of Yamama, Sayyidina Umar Farooq said that we've lost too many kuffars. We need to preserve the Quran. Let's bring the Quran into one formal document known as Al Mus'haf. Al Mus'haf. Therefore, the Quran as one document is a bid'ah. I know you're tired, but you heard me right. The Quran as one formal document known as a mushaf is a bid'ah. But is a bid'ah hasana or is a bid'ah sayyi'ah? Obviously, it is an example of a good innovation, i.e. bid'ah.